What's up, everyone? This is Panda. So I ran into an issue with one of the conductors when I was checking in for this train ride to Wisconsin. Now, I've been traveling with this stuff since the start of the pandemic using Amtrak, and no one's ever charged me because I've been using business class for my luggage. But I just wanted to give you guys a comparison. This is a Pelican case. This is a carry-on. For an airplane. This is my carbon fiber tripod. Now I can take this upstairs as I want if I wanted to. This is my softbox, this is my, my, my uh, new uh, light stands, right? And this is my luggage, all my clothes. My camera bag is upstairs, and the conductor is saying to me that I needed to verify and check my bags. So I'm like, listen, no one's said anything. I went to the, the booth to see if I could get an upgrade on my ticket, but this line here doesn't have business class. So I asked if I need to check it in here. She goes, no, you're fine. It's like, you're probably depressed, so you, you should be good. There's really no one going to be on the train next to you. So, you're looking at this space. Just look at it. I'm not clogging. I'm not blocking. I'm not taking up space. So why did this conductor profile me, but didn't ask any other passengers about their heavy luggage? Look at the size of these luggage. I think that's equivalent to what I have. But the reason why he was complaining was because of this. A port affordable wagon to transport all this stuff. And look, but he's not saying anything about any of you know the other guests belongings but i feel like that was profiled so he knew i was right when i told him about the power set so yeah i was like well from the amazon policy if i was in business class you wouldn't be asking me the same question would you and he's like all right get out of here talking to me as i'm, I'm a child so and i let it go and the women that were behind me was also saying wow did you see that yeah, it's very distasteful, very disgusting. I just want to show you guys the area. Look how much space. This is why his argument didn't make any sense. Yeah, not just space here, but you got space over there too. Bunch of space. Look at all this space. So think about it. Sorry. Look at all the space. You got plenty of space. So what's his argument? Okay. Let's this, this compare apples and oranges right here. This is one person's stuff here. Look at all that. That's my stuff over there. You didn't say anything to this person about their stuff, but you said something to me? Hmm. Hmm. A question, Amtrak. I do question your employees sometimes. Some of them are nasty, and some of them just have attitudes. Not all of them, but the ladies on this train right now the conductors were telling me oh don't worry about that yeah you're, you're pretty accurate you've been riding the train have you I said, yeah business class doing ever and she recognized me from the couple of days we came into portland from san francisco so someone was paying attention to details but here are the quarter parties here i just want to share this my story on the amtrak headed back to wisconsin right now just want to share it so I just thought that the conductor's argument was pointless because look, you got all this space and you didn't say anything to this person. So I know you were profiling me and I feel like you were. I just feel like you were. So, and the black conductor that was standing here, he, he was surprised at the wagon for then goes, oh snap, that's pretty cool. I was like, yeah, the guy over there was complaining. He goes, don't worry about that, man. You're good. Exactly. This happened at the Portland uh, PDX Amtrak station. So with that said, everyone, I'm Panda. Just sharing my experience on the Amtrak train. So, see ya.